<clears throat> okay, so this is going to be some additional examples of um, writing the Lewis structure uh, for the molecules and ions. Okay, so the first thing to do is to determine the valence electrons. Now, this was on an earlier slide that not necessarily have I shown you. Um, okay, so for phosphorus, I have one of them, and it's in group 5A, so there's five valence electrons to give me five. Chlorine, there are three of them times the seven to give me 21. So I have a total of 26 valence electrons. Then I draw the skeleton structure, phosphorus, chlorine, chlorine, and chlorine. Okay, and every time I draw a line, remember that's two electrons, so two, four, six. So I've used up six, okay, to give me 20. Then I do the outside atoms, so I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And I'm left with two additional ones, and once on the outside atom, C8, I put it all around the central atom. So this right here is the structure of phosphorus trichloride, okay? All right. And you could have paused that if you want to see that. I'm going to create more room here, okay? And so the next one I'm going to do is going to be an ion, which is perchlorate. <clears throat> so it's the same process. I'm going to write the ions or the electrons up here. I have one chlorine, whoops, times the seven electrons, so that's seven. I have oxygen, which is four. It's in group 6A, so six gives me 24. And before I add, this negative charge means I have one more electron. So eight plus the 24 gives me 32, okay? Chlorine is my central atom, and I draw around four oxygens, one, two, three, Four. Every time I draw a line, I draw two electrons. Oops. Two, four, six, eight. Oops, I erased that one. Eight. So I've used up eight, leaving me back to the 24. All right. And then I draw two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 22, 24. So I've used up 24, so I'm down to zero. The only thing is that because this is an ion, I have to indicate the fact it's an ion by drawing a really large bracket around it and putting the charge outside that bracket. Okay. So you can pause. All right, now we're going to do the SO3 2 minus. Okay, so sulfur has, there's one of them, and there's six electrons to give me six. Oxygen, there's three of them. Again, it's in group 6A, so that's 18. This time, I have a minus two charge, so I add two electrons, so that's 26 electrons. Okay, and so again... Sulfur is my center atom because it's the leftmost, and I have one, two, three sulfurs, okay? Every time I draw a dash, it represents two electrons, so two, four, six to make it a structure. Leaves me 20, okay? Then I do the outside atoms, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Leave me two more, and so since my outside atoms are full, then therefore the two additional atoms go on the sulfur itself. Okay, again, this one's an ion, so to figure out where I am here, and so I have to put the bracket around it, and I put the charge of a minus two. Okay, one more.
okay? Chlorine bromine, okay? There are chlorine, there's one of them, and there's seven valence electrons. Bromide, there's also one of them, and there's also seven valence electrons because they're in group seven. So that leaves me 14 total. There is no central atom because it's two, just two atoms. So it's chlorine beside the bromide. I draw a dash, that's two. Leaving me 12. Okay. And then two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I'm out of electrons and everything sees eight and everything is happy. So that's how you draw those Lewis structures. And this will be the end of that video.